Hi guys, welcome. I'm going to show you how to use this really cool online art making site. So let's get going. When you open up the link, it's going to look like um, this. It's going to be this blank page and um, it's ABC uh, Paint. And so this is what it's going to look like, just kind of a screen like this with a bunch of different options at the bottom. And uh, if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see I can use a paintbrush, a watercolor wash, which is going to be very thin, like watercolor paint, a little transparent, uh, paint roller if I wanted really big areas, spray paint. I'm going to make some really cool shapes with that one. Paint bucket, and then there's an eraser. So let's just click one and we'll get started. So um, let's say I want to start with my watercolor one. I can choose what size I want. I can make it really, really big or really, really small. I think I'm going to do really big because I'm going to do something in the background. Then I can click on this paint palette here. And it's going to let me choose what colors I want. So let's say I want to do kind of like a foresty green background. I'm going to take this and kind of just paint in the background and just move my mouse up and down to get different colors here. If it's not covering enough, and I want to cover a little bit more, I can go to the paint roller instead. This is going to let me get a lot done a lot quicker. So you can see how it kind of rolls around, leaves a little bit of a texture too, which is kind of cool because actually I think I'm going to make this like grass. I'm going to make like an outdoor scene. There we go. And I'm happy, so I'm going to press my back arrow and go back again. And let's see what I've got going on here because I have to scroll up a little bit. There, there's a tiny bit of sky, lots and lots of grass. Um, I think I'm going to move on to my paintbrush. And I think I'm going to do some tree trunks. So I'm going to do a little bit smaller. I don't want them to be too fat. And a tree trunk, good tree trunk color. Let's do some brown. And let's just paint some nice tall tree shapes here. And I'm just doing the trunks. I'm not doing the, um, I'm not going to do the leaves yet, but I will. And I think I'm going to move to a smaller one because I want to do some branches coming off of it. And I don't want my branches to be too thick. Just a few, and I'm going to go even tinier so I can do some little baby branches coming off of it like that. So I'm just playing with this. Yours does not have to be a picture of anything. Maybe you want it to be a picture of, you know, just a cool pattern or design. That's fine too. So I've got some tree bodies, the branch, you know, the trunks and the branches started. Now I want to do some uh, tree tops, I think. I'm going to change to the spray can and look at all the cool options I have. I can do circle, star, heart, snowflake, flower or leaf. I think I'm going to click the leaf one because I want to see what that looks like. And again, I'm going to pick a different color because uh, I'm still stuck on brown here. So I think I'm going to do maybe a darker green and just, I'm going to pr press once. <gasps> Ooh, pressing once with my mouse kind of shows this cool see-through leaf shape. And I can just keep pressing it once or I can press it a bunch of times and it's going to get darker. This is cool. This looks really like kind of like a tree. Although I'm covering up my branches a little bit, but that's all right. I can always go back over it again. Do a little bit more. You can even hear a little hissing sound. It's supposed to sound like a spray can. Maybe I could even use this to make it look like bushes in the background or little trees in the background. Right? I don't even have to like things that are far away look smaller. Things are close look bigger so if my trees appear big maybe these are going to be like far away trees in the distance I think that's a good idea awesome I love how this is coming and now this part's a little bit empty I feel like I need something there so maybe I'll switch to the flower symbol maybe I'll make some flowers down here get some different sizes if I press real light it seems to make smaller ones if I press hard with my button they make bigger ones. Maybe I'll do a few little blue flowers too. Now it is a little see-through so it's not it's not gonna be a really bright color. If I was doing this on a white background it would look different. So 
but um, I like this. It's really pretty. This is so much fun. So you're going to keep playing around until you get a scene that you like. If you ever do something you don't like, say, eh, I did one too many flowers, or it looks really gross here. You can press this arrow button that's showing a backwards arrow, and when I do that, it's going to start eliminating. See how they're all disappearing? They're all eliminating. And if I say, ooh, I took one too many away, I can press this arrow and it puts them, it's going to start putting them back for me. Okay? So don't worry if you make a mistake. You can always erase it. Now, here's the part. Let's say I love this. I think it looks so good. I'm very happy with it. I want to keep it. I don't want to lose it. Um, what I'm going to do, it's very, very simple, is I'm going to go over here to the yellow bars where there's three yellow bars. I'm going to press that and it gives me options. I can make a new one if I just want to start over and say, eh, I hate this whole thing. I want to start over. Or I can save it. It will save it to your computer and then you can attach it to your Google Classroom and send it to me like you normally do. Um, print, if you want to actually have a printed copy, then you can keep it, hang it in your house. And then import background is going to be something totally different. Let's not even get to that. That's you bringing in pictures of your own that you can decorate, which might be kind of cool. But if you want to play with that, if you're someone who has some experience with the computer, you can try. But this just basically means take pictures from your computer, put it on here, and then decorate the picture. So that might be kind of cool if you want to try it. We're not going to do that right now. So I'm going to press save. And you can see down here in the corner, that it's going to, oh, it's asking if I want to do that. I'm going to say, yes, I want to do that. I want to save it. And down here it has where my picture went. Okay. And then you should have it and be able to, let's take a look at it. You should be able to send it. So I'm going to pull up a picture I just did. Here it is, my finished picture. It's beautiful. Looks so cool. Looks exactly like I wanted it to. And now I can send this off to anyone I want to or print it off my computer, do whatever I want. So I hope you guys had fun with this. Um, I hope you really enjoyed doing this. It's a lot of fun to do art in a little bit of a different way. We've been doing a lot of art with our hands. This week we are doing it on the computer. So we're going to try this out and see how it goes. So you guys have fun and I wish you all the best.